plenty of damage on the ZR2. We're going to get back to this in a minute. You can see all throughout here. I went in this last video, uh, but we're definitely going to get back to this on the ZR2 and all the damage that goes over this. But first things first, the C6 giveaway is still going on right now down in the description. InChainDesigns.com times 15 entries if you guys missed out on the Saline Mustang. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. So enjoy the rest of this stupid, stupid situation. All right, boys, so a little bit of story time here. We got my father's garage, so a bit of a better backdrop than what we would normally have uh, for these videos. A little bit more interesting for you guys to have scenery in the background. Uh, anyway, story time. The Bronco video was received very well. I got in contact with the dealership, had a Bronco lockdown, Badlands Edition, Area 51 Bronco, fully loaded to the nines. I was like, man, this is a little sketchy. Let's act on it because we have to. You got to take risks with YouTube. So I did. I contacted the dealership, uh, spoke with uh, the guy's name is Bob. Um, I won't release the last name, won't release the name of the dealership. It's just ridiculous because I, every time I do that and there's drama, it just compiles. I'm not getting involved. So it was in Cherry Hill, um, New Jersey. They have a reputation with being just not that great. So uh, it was a dealership out in New Jersey. We had, uh, I got it all lined up with them, spoke with uh, Bob and got this all settled. He's super motivated. He's like, we have it coming in. This is gonna be awesome. I was like, this is a dream come true. Like you can't find Broncos. This is amazing. So uh, went through all the process, like everything you have to give a dealership to make sure that it's all lined up. So it's just clean cut. Here are the keys, we're rolling. Um, sign a few papers, blah, blah, blah. And it's in New Jersey. So I'm gonna have to drive out to get this on the turnpike, which everyone knows in Pennsylvania now, the turnpike is like, it'd be like 40 bucks round trip, not including gas, just for tolls to get out there. So have this all set up the day's coming we're like two days out uh the, it was scheduled like hey the broncos are gonna get here just come out here this day uh so i got it lined up with my wife i was like you know what we're going to uh, she can drive me out there and then we can drive back so that was the plan it's the morning of i give him a call and he doesn't answer I, i'm assuming i thought it was his personal cell phone uh, and for those of you who are listening you can sort of get some similarities between what happened with me and what happened with mike whenever he was trying to order his trx and the only reason why i think that this is like it's, it's too, it's not a coincidence that these stories are very similar. It's because this is just what dealerships do. It's very unfortunate. Dealerships will do whatever they can to make money. And I understand that's just the way it goes in business sometimes. It just sucks that the way that you have to practice business with being a car dealership, it's super sketchy. Just very snaky. Like you just got to do whatever you can to make money, get cars off the lot because it's not the salesman fault. It's, it's management's on them and then corporate's on management and then the owner of the places. So blah, blah, it's a trickle down effect. So everyone's trying to get ahead. So I think that's what my situation was, was they had a Bronco on the lot. They had a guy come in that probably offered them an insane amount of money or something like that. Like God only knows how this goes because I know dealerships were charging over MSRP for the TRX. That's probably what happened with this Bronco because it wasn't over MSRP. The only reason why this is so crazy is because I had a deposit down on the vehicle already. I sent them money. I sent them everything. I sent them money and, and all the information that was needed. So money is out of my pocket now. It's gone. I don't have... I don't have that money anymore. It's with the dealership, which that's whatever. It's just, it's whenever you have a couple thousand bucks, it doesn't matter what, what, like, okay, whatever. But yes, it gets a little sketchy whenever it's like, well, where is this money going? Because what happens next is it's the morning of, like I said, I gave Bob a call. Bob doesn't answer. Called him again, doesn't answer. Called the dealership. And now we're on our way. Luckily, we weren't very far out. I stopped the, I stopped the truck. We were, we got on the turnpike. So we already paid the toll to get on pulled over at a gas station, one of the Sunoco's there on the, on the turnpike and was like, I need to speak to Bob. Bob had me hooked up with this Bronco. And the woman at the beginning was like, we don't have any Broncos. I was like, I spoke with Bob. I, I, yes, the one is sold because I put a deposit down on it. And I think she knew what was going on and cut it right there. Said, hang on a minute. We gotta, I gotta go talk to my manager. I get on the phone with someone else. It's the same runaround. Like, well, we got something coming in next week. We got something coming this week, blah, blah, blah. It's like an Outer Banks. I'm like, I don't want that. I put a deposit down on a Badlands. It's an Area 51, so it's a sick color, and it's specced beautifully. Like, it's perfect. Every single time, they're clearly at, up against the wall, and they realize I'm not going to buy something else or wait just to get me off the phone. I would get put on hold, and they'd be super motivated. Like, hey, we're going to get the... I'm going to get you Jim. He's Jim. is going to help you out. This guy's clutch. He'll get it figured out. Man, this guy knows what's up speak with Jim. And I talked with Jim for five minutes, same freaking runaround. I can give you this at a discount. I can do this and that. And whenever we're talking about discounts, 
We're no longer talking about Broncos. We're talking about trying to sell me a Raptor at one point. It was just like, this is ridiculous because obviously I told them like what I do. I was like, listen, I film this for YouTube. I'm, I'm just motivated because I want to get this vehicle and film with it. Wasn't getting anywhere. It was just, I, I've, I've had this happen before, just not on this big of a scale. And at this point I'm getting very upset because they're wasting my time. And whenever they're trying to sell me other vehicles, I, I knew the jig was almost up. I was hoping that eventually I would get in contact with Bob and he would be like, dude, I'm so sorry about that. My employees are super incompetent and this is what's really going on. Eventually after so many transfers, I think I was transferred to like four different people. It was ridiculous. They just hang up on me. They're like, all right, hang on. And then after like 10 minutes, the phone just goes dead. So I was just put on hold forever until the phone went dead. Um, and then I was like, all right, well, this isn't gonna work. So called Bob two more times, nothing came of it because now it's just like, I just want my money back. And, and I was very disappointed that I'm no longer gonna get this Bronco. A couple hours pass, we're at home. I'm trying to figure out, I'm online looking for other Broncos. Like, all right, I'll deal with that in the meantime. I was like, you know what? Let me just call Bob one more time. Call him up and Bob answers. And I'm assuming it's because like he probably gets whoever this guy is, I don't even know if it's his real name, gets a lot of phone calls during the day uh, because he's a car salesman and probably deals with this a lot and answers the phone, not knowing that it was going to be me. I'm sure if he knew it was gonna be me, he wouldn't have answered. Same thing as before, he's just like, oh, it's, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, man. Like I could tell the second I told him the situation, uh, he was like, damn it, why did I pick up the phone? Because he knew that the jig was up. So finally, he admits to me that they just sold the Bronco. It was on the lot that morning, someone came in and they sold it. I don't know with deposits how that works where it's like they're legally bound to sell the car to me. I don't think they are. So I'm just kind of, it's just kind of like a good faith thing for good business. I put a deposit down because I show intent to buy the vehicle. And as a good business practice, they should have honored that and let me buy the vehicle that evening or that afternoon rather. It was only gonna be a couple hours. It's one thing to have a dealership hold the vehicle. It's another whenever you put money down on it. So. It's just ridiculous. Again, we run the parallels with Mike where it was like, okay, well, we can give you your money back. No shit. That's like, what, you're gonna keep my money? Like, of course you're gonna give me my money back. This one's so parallel with what happened to Mike and the TRX. It's almost like, I mean, it's like I said, this is almost like a, a common business practice. And I don't know why you would ever not sell me the vehicle. Like why sell it to someone else? It had to have been more money. It had to have been like, hey, listen, I'll give you more money than MSRP and we'll make it work, which I'm sure would happen because these are super desired vehicles. God only knows what's going on there. Um, so yeah, very unfortunate. Now I know the comments are already gonna be like daggers saying, you never were gonna buy a Bronco. This was just your way to get out. I promise you that was our plan A. We're on plan B. I have a reliable dealership. We're talking over Instagram. Um, they reached out, they're super motivated. They tried to sell me another vehicle back in the day. I think it was a Ram TRX actually, whenever I mentioned that. And even the C8, uh, Whitmore can't help me out because they're just backward beyond belief. So you have to kind of just really siphon through everyone who may possibly have an opening for a Bronco. And what we have lined up right now, uh, it was originally a Wild Tracks and now it's it's back down to the, to the Badlands, which I'm fine with. Um, and the color, I'm gonna keep a secret. The other one was Area 51. This color, uh, you guys are gonna like. And I'm sure that there's a couple other colors out there besides area 51 that are pretty cool a handful so you guys can guess down in the comments what this color is going to be that should be here very soon going to be trading in the wife's vehicle for that and keeping the zr2 because we're going to make this into a permanent off-road rig since it's not doing good yeah big scuffs on there but yeah permanent off-road rig for this and then going to be trading in the wife's car so she can daily the bronco and i can modify it and stuff makes sense for the family um where it's like i can write it off now that i'm doing my own thing on youtube and also uh, modify it and have fun with it and then she can take it to work so on the weekends we can do crazy stuff with it off-road jump it do all that dumb stuff anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate all the love and support this one is going to get hammered with hate so if you guys can do anything to help me out leave a like down uh down below and then also leave a comment just uh just try to boost this in the algorithm because i'm telling you this is going to get some hate because it was already shady in the last video how it's like oh it's clickbait you're not really getting one and then for this to happen I'm, I'm gonna be in trouble for sure. So thank you guys so much for the support. Say Bob in the comments, shout out to Bob. I should dox him, put his phone number up here, put his phone number up here and have you guys call him and text him. Um, I'm not gonna do that, Bob, but I could. If this happens again, like I'm gonna do something cause it's, this is just ridiculous how these dealerships do this. I've had this happen before, Mike had it happen and now back again with me. And when it's, they're messing with your business, 
that sucks. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Bronco update coming next video. Big stuff planned. Also, front bumper for the uh, for the ZR2. Going to get the off-road bumper. Follow me on Instagram, RF Racing 717 I'll see you guys next video.